الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك على عبدك ونبيك وحبيبك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن سار على دربه اليوم الدين الحمد لله we have another chance to be here to talk about the greatest man ever walked on earth the greatest prophet of Allah who delivered the message of Allah in the best way the person that Allah praised the most when he said وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ you have acquired the best of manners it's not only that the greatest of manners were given to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he's the one who said أَدَّبَنِي رَبِّي فَأَحْسَنَ تَأْدِيبِي Allah educated me and brought me up in the best way Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was an orphan no father no mother but Allah nominated him to be the best of humanity if not of creation so we continue talking about this great personality uh, we derive lessons from his life in a world where there are too many role models and I'm saying to say worthless role models that are driving people one direction into another. They need guidance themselves. Wallahi, they need to be guided. But because of this, the glamour of this materialistic world, we don't recognize the real role models that we should really take for ourselves, for our families, for our children, for the whole people. So Muhammad وسلم, will continue to be the choice, the only choice for humanity to be uplifted, for humanity to be guided, for humanity to find its own way. Because we are living in a world of misery, world of misery. All aspects of injustice are practiced. All aspects of hatred are spread. All aspects of uh, inhumanity are really spreading. We need to be humans again. We need to be humans again. If you have a talk, you could talk to me directly, brothers, okay? Uh, today, we'll talk about the reason for being here. Why we're here. Here. Why you are here. Okay? So this is a question that we need to listen to and have an answer to. Because if we don't have a goal, real aim, what we're learning for, then it will be a waste of time. Yes, we know it's great and blessing to sit together and talk about good things, but we need that to be reflected in our lives. Uh, we are supposed to be da'iyas, mean people who call for the sake of Allah. They are not calling for any other materialistic benefit, but to deliver the message of Allah to others. And this is something that we agreed upon last time with our colleagues if we pass the message to one person, if Brother Mark attending today and he liked something, okay, in the personality of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he would pass it to just one person. If Engineer Saeed was here and he just listened to something in the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi that he felt touching his heart and mind, he just say it to another colleague. So by this way, we spread the knowledge that we gain. And that, that way, we turn to be from being receptive, passive recipients, participants, to be active participants, to, to have our own role in life. The whole world is in need of what we do here. And if you don't feel that, we shouldn't be here. Another aim is that we ourselves need to change. And we cannot change the whole world around us unless we change within ourselves and as this is what Allah says in the Quran in Allah la yughayyiru ma biqawmin hatta yughayyiru ma biyanfusihim Allah does not change the situation of a people unless they change within themselves unless they change within themselves so we can never change unless we know the right way and the right way is the way of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this is something very important that we have got to have in mind that we need to make a difference in our lives. Therefore, 
a difference will be reflected in the lives of others, in our families, in our children, in our neighbors, the people that we know, of all denominations, of all countries, of all religions, because Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us, and we have a doctrine, we have a way of life in front of us that could be referred to in all aspects, in all times, for all situations and for all people. So this is something that we have in mind. Uh, this will lead us, so we have an aim to be a da'iyah, and this should be, should be our aim, very clear in our minds, that we know what we want to achieve. Okay? Uh, because uh, some Muslims think, people who work in the field of da'wah, that da'wah can only be achieved when you invite an Muslim to Islam, and they have to become Muslims. That is true, but it's not the whole truth. It's an aim because when you have something of value, you want to give it, share it with others. You feel somebody is in need of something that you have, you should give it to them. If you find somebody who is needy and he's starving, and you don't get, we have food and you don't give him, you'll be questioned by Allah. You'll be questioned, you must do that. Whether that person is a Muslim or an un-Muslim. Whether he's from your country or from other country. Whether he speaks your language, doesn't speak your language. If you say somebody uh, doing something evil to himself and you can't stop him, you should stop him as well from doing that evil. So there are three aims that we take in mind when we give da'wah. One, that we want guidance for all people. This is something. Second, there are many misconceptions raised about Islam. And most of these misconceptions emerge from within the Muslim community because many Muslims are not good representatives of Islam. And people think that this is first-hand information that they get about Islam. So they hold to it. They hold to it. So they have the second aim, which is we inform others, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, of what Islam really is, to change what they have in mind about Islam. Third, that there are some who have waged enmity against Islam, knowingly or unknowingly, either by writing, by talking, by action sometimes. Okay? Those people need to be neutralized. How? Okay? An ignorant person or person who is not having knowledge, and for example, I, I hate brother. Uh, What's your name? Ahmed. Keep remembering me. For example, for no reason or wrong information, he would come to me and could correct that information for me. So that will change my own perspective. That enmity will be neutralized, will disappear. Okay? And uh, sometimes I have a position towards you and you need to convince me that I'm not right. That I'm not right. That this is not true. And this is through dialogue. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, which is a high level of delivering the message to others, giving da'wah. Call for the way of your Lord, the way of Allah, with wisdom and good speech. And when you debate, you debate in the best way. You create a dialogue in the best. This is the procedure that we should have in mind, the aims that we need to achieve in ourselves. And let's keep that in mind, whenever we meet, that this is what we want to do. How every meeting that we have should lead to something. Uh, one thing that we agreed upon last time, that we need to take notes. He taught man with the pen. So if we come and listen and we go, we'll forget. Uh, Sometimes you have a question to write it down, uh, a point that you would like to raise. Uh, later on, these notes that we collect will be of great value to us. Not because I'm here, but because of the discussion that sometimes that we raise and the topics that are uh, handled, okay? So uh, this will be the introduction for today's, uh, inshallah, uh, meeting. Uh, we develop our aims, we know what we're here for, 
what we want to achieve, the methodology that we want to follow, uh, and the topics that we'll be discussing. So this is a summary of what has been really presented uh, for this time. And may Allah guide you and me to the right path, the way of Muhammad, the way of Ibrahim, the way of Jesus, the way of Moses, the way of Zechariah, the way of John, the way of those great role models that are, they are our role models, they are our prophets, and the people that we aspire to look into their lives uh, and follow their own footsteps. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.